In 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 10, Paul concludes the chapter with a powerful statement that brings the Thessalonian believers' spiritual journey and their anticipation of the future into sharp focus. He writes, And to wait for His Son from heaven, whom He raised from the dead, even Jesus who delivers us from the wrath to come. This verse captures the essence of the Christian hope and the core of the gospel message, emphasizing not only the personal transformation of believers, but also their forward-looking expectation. The instruction to wait for His Son from heaven reflects a posture of active waiting. This is not a passive or idle waiting, but a vigilant and expectant one, characterized by readiness and watchfulness. This waiting is based on the certainty of Christ's return, a central tenet of Christian belief that profoundly shapes the behavior and outlook of believers. The Thessalonians are commended not just for turning away from idols, but for reorienting their lives towards this future event, the return of Jesus Christ. The phrase, whom he raised from the dead, ties the anticipation of Christ's return to the historical reality of His resurrection. By affirming Jesus' resurrection, Paul underscores the truth and power of the gospel. The resurrection is the foundation of Christian hope. It confirms Jesus' victory over death and the promise of eternal life for those who trust in Him. It also establishes the credibility of Jesus as the Messiah and guarantees the fulfillment of all God's promises concerning salvation and the ultimate restoration of all things. Furthermore, even Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come, expands on the nature of Jesus' mission and the scope of His deliverance. This deliverance is not only from the power and penalty of sin, but from the future, final wrath of God that will be poured out at the end of the age. This wrath is a righteous response to sin and evil, underscoring the necessity of salvation through Christ, who shields believers from this outcome through His sacrificial death and resurrection. This aspect of deliverance is particularly poignant for the Thessalonians, who lived in a time and culture rife with uncertainty and spiritual confusion. The assurance of deliverance from divine wrath would have provided both comfort and motivation, reinforcing their decision to turn from idols and serve the living God. For them, and for all who read Paul's letter today, this promise is a profound encouragement, providing a perspective that transcends the immediate trials and challenges of life and orients one towards eternal realities. The call to wait actively for Jesus' return has practical implications for daily living. It shapes how believers view their time and priorities, urging them to live in a manner that reflects their ultimate hope. It encourages moral vigilance, spiritual discipline, and a commitment to God's mission in the world. The lifestyle of waiting involves both personal holiness and public witness, as believers seek to embody and proclaim the values of the kingdom of God in anticipation of its full realization. Moreover, this anticipation of Christ's return fosters a sense of unity and shared purpose among believers. For the Thessalonian church, this was crucial in maintaining their spiritual vitality and communal integrity in the face of external pressures and internal challenges. It also provided a framework for understanding and enduring suffering, as they were reminded that their current trials would ultimately be resolved in the victory of Christ. In today's context, this verse calls believers to reaffirm their hope in Christ's return and to live in ways that demonstrate their readiness for that day. It challenges contemporary Christians to assess their lives. Are we truly waiting for His Son from heaven? Does the reality of Jesus' return and the deliverance He promises impact how we live, how we prioritize our time and resources, and how we engage with the world around us? 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 10 encapsulates the Christian hope and its implications for life. 
It highlights the transformative power of the gospel, which not only changes individuals from the inside out, but also reorients them towards a glorious future. This verse encourages believers to live in active anticipation of Christ's return, a posture that brings profound and practical changes to personal behavior and communal life, anchoring all actions and expectations in the ultimate deliverance that Jesus brings.